All right, cool. Um, this next one is from King Servant. Um, he says, how should I respond when a, mu when a Muslim asks me um, what the biblical age for marriage is? Um, now, that's tricky because there's, there's not a verse that says this is the age for marriage, right? Right, right. Uh, and the, re the reason this is going to come up is because uh, it's a common criticism to point out, one, that Muhammad married Aisha when she's either six or seven, um, and that he consummated the marriage. He had, he had sex with Aisha when she was nine, and it was before she reached puberty, right? And how old was he? He was in his 50s. Cool. So he's in his 50s. She's nine when he has sex with her, and she had not reached puberty yet. We know that from the Muslim sources. So, uh, and, and besides that, chapter 65, verse 4 of the Quran uh, allows Muslims, it, it lays down rules on how to divorce a prepubescent girl after marrying her and have sex, having sex with her. Oh, so, how, so it gives rules on how to divorce a prepubescent girl that you've already had sex with. So obviously the Quran is allowing sex with prepubescent girls, oh, right? Yeah. So, we raise this as criticisms because, you know, if Muhammad is lifted up as the perfect moral example for Muslims to follow, and he had sex with a nine-year-old girl, we raise this as a problem. Do you really believe that? Do you really believe that's a good thing to do? Right. Um, and uh, if the Quran is the word of God, then you've got the, the Quran allowing sex with prepubescent girls. And so the Muslim response is, well, show us where the Bible says what the, what the age of the age when you can have sex with a girl is, right? right? right. Because if you had the same problem in the Bible, right. uh, notice that wouldn't end the problem with the Quran right, and, right. and Muhammad, it would just right, mean right. we had the, the right. same problem too. Right. Um, and there are certain things, but again, there, there's, there's no, oh, here's where we have a specific age or something like that. Right. You do find a couple principles that, uh, you, if you wanted to say the, the position of the Bible. Um, so, I mean, the, the, the most basic would be God created Adam and Eve, and when he created a, a, a partner for Adam, he didn't create a six-year-old girl, seven-year-old girl, eight-year-old right. girl, nine-year-old girl. He created right. a woman who was capable of having children, right? right? right, right. So that's the, that's the partner. That's the kind of partner you should have. Uh, yeah. Apart from that, you have, uh, I understand there are certain things in the writings of Paul when he's talking about having a, you know, a virgin daughter and, and when to give her away and, and that there, there's, there's language used in the Greek about um, reaching, uh, re reaching a, a stage of maturity when, right, right. when you would give them away and then even being past that, being past yeah. that time. Um, you, you have in, uh, in Ezekiel 16, now this is a big parable, but it, 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 it does give a principle about uh, what, what's called an, an appropriate age for love, right? Um, but the, the, the parable that it's giving, Muslims won't like the parable, but uh, I mean, the parables are awesome. The, the, the parables that we have in, in, in Ezekiel here are awesome. Um, God is describing his relationship with Judah. Now, in that ancient culture, if you had a, 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 a similar to, to the situation Muhammad was in, um, that if you had a, a baby girl and you didn't want a baby girl, you wanted a baby boy, you go throw your baby girl out in the desert. Yeah, right? you're right, right. You, go, you throw her out in the desert. Yeah. Um, or if you had a, you know, a disabled child, you throw your disabled child out in the desert. Right. So God talks about Judah as like a girl that he's taken care of, right? Okay. As like, you know, a woman that he's, a girl he's, he's, he's eventually going to take as, as his bride, right? right? We have similar imagery with Christ in the church in the right. New Testament. Um, Muslims don't like, oh, you're talking about God. Yeah. Guys, he's not talking about actually being, he's not talking about that. We're not right. talking about the, the church and Christ doing anything, any sort of physical, right. we're not talking about that, guys. It's imagery, right? right. But the imagery God uses in here, um, he says, you know, I found you, you're out there dying in a, in a pool of your own blood. So if someone had had you, don't want you, throw you throws you out. Right. And he says, I found you and took care of you. And I, you know, I, I, I made you safe. And then God leaves and then he comes back. And he says, eventually, um, I found that, that your hair had grown, your breasts had developed, and so on. And then after that, I said, uh, she's at the age for love. Right? Oh, okay, yeah. So notice, yeah. it's the age for love, according right. to the Bible. The age when it's, appro when it's appropriate to have a, a relationship of marriage right. is once you've fully matured physically, right? right? Yeah. And so Aisha had not developed fully. So notice right. this is going to be like completing the process of puberty. Right, right. Now, pu yeah. Puberty is not, you know, Muslims have, lots of Muslim apologists who deal with this have a kind of uh, old enough to breed, old enough to bleed, old enough to breed mentality, right? right. right? So you have your period, you, uh, right. you're, you're basically an adult. Right. No, <laughs> that's the first step right. of puberty, right? right, that, that's, right. It, puberty is a process that still takes several years. Your right, hips right. widen, your breasts develop, and so on. Right. Um, so that's a, that, that process takes some time. And the biblical perspective seems to be once you have fully matured physically, 
Yeah. That's when it's a per, that's when it's the time for love. Right. So you have things like that. And again, no, this is the this is the moment. This is the age. Of, it, it's hard to do that, right? It's yeah. hard because you, you can't just say, "Hey, fourteen or fifteen yeah. or sixteen or something like that," because different people mature at different times. Exactly. Uh, right. You, I think we can say nine is too early. Yeah. Right. Nine is too early. Seven is yeah. too early. Six is too early. These yeah. things are too early. Right. Um, but biblically, once you've once you've developed uh, physically as a woman, makes sense. Good.